Alright. We're watching a game out. Playing AM2R. So you get back over there. There's a big I've nothing yet. What could it be? Um You don't often see based on a game by Nintendo. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, wow. Uh if this uh, I just gave it away. It's Metroid that's... 2. There sort goes of. there goes the build up. Pretty Yep. Pretty deflatatory. Is that a word? I think that we just that was a deflatatory <laughs> moment. Hey! Anyway, welcome everybody. We are playing <laughs> AM2R. Return of Samus, which is a remake of Metroid 2. AM2R stands for another Metroid 2 remake. Uh, as you can see in the bottom right corner, the guy had a URL. We're just going to jump right into it. Normal. I like the uh, soft the soft guitar. Yeah, it's got great music. Get ready for the intro. Oh, shit. Metroids. <laughs> Numerous incidents in the past have brought to light the highly destructive power of I'm reading faster than the text goes. Yeah, no, we, we got it. Now, this is good, Josh. Thank you. <laughs> No! Spreading fear across all known planetary systems. No! Shut up, Anthony! I need this! Yeah! Hoping I always wanted to secure Anthony. Peace in the galaxy. Galactic Federation orders the extermination of the Metroid species. I was trying to build a moment. No, it was... I was the best candidate for the job. What the fuck is with her hand? Do you see this? It's really far back. It really, it's, I think it looks more like she's got a T-Rex arm. Scientific <laughs> fact, Samus Aran is 14 feet wide, and <laughs> that is where her hand goes. <laughs> okay. It's called perspective, artist. I buy that. <laughs> so this is a, uh, this is a fan remake of Metroid 2 that I think uh, was headed up by uh, one dude, but had like a lot of um, contributors. So it wasn't like solely the one guy, but he, you know, headed up the project and his vision and everything. Yeah, and it was going on for years, right? Like, um, yeah, if I, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think it was like a um, like a ten year project. I think it was one of those. Anyway, so wow. yeah, a remake of of Metroid Two, which never actually saw a remake. It was originally on the original Game Boy. And this was someone's revisioning of what it would look like. The graphic set is a lot like um, Metroid Zero Mission, which was a remake of Metroid yeah. One for the for the Game Boy Advance, I believe. If I recall. Yeah, you know, you know those uh, that that like that uh, flora uh, kind of has, has a vibe from is uh, like Terraria. Uh, that looks kind of like that. Uh, yeah, stylish. which is quite. It's crazy to think about, right? Because I'm sure that game borrowed um, immensely from. Games like this, or games sure. like original Metroid, or, or other like great-looking pixel games. At least that's what they're called now. Yeah, they used to just be called great games, great-looking games. So the basic plot line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, basic plot of this game is uh, in the first Metroid game. I'm gonna butcher this because I wasn't like a, uh, a a huge fan, or I didn't play through the original Nintendo version. Of, uh, of Metroid, but in the first one, right, like, you go after Mother Brain, uh, you are Samus Aran, a bounty hunter, mm. and you kill Mother Brain, who is, like, harnessing the power of these creatures called Metroids, which are, like, you know, creatures that fly around and, I guess, uh, can suck the life out of anything, and so Mother Brain was trying to use them to her own end. Uh, yeah. And you stop that, and then in Metroid, Metroid 2, you're, you're assigned to go to the Metroid planet, which we're on now, which is called SR-388, and exterminate every single Metroid on the planet. It's kind of fucked up if you think about it. I mean, can't you just let them have one planet? I mean, I know. But I guess the idea is like, well, if... If, uh, if, if Mother Brain's gonna do it, other people could do it, so. <laughs> Dude, you know how you just, like, you left one, like, one alive up there? Wouldn't it be great if you get to the very end of the game, and it's like, yeah, you didn't, you didn't do the mission, I mean, you missed one, so. <laughs> game over, you lose, thanks for nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's just, <laughs> yeah, it never once tells you, I mean, luckily, if you see in the upper right corner there, I've got the mini-map, and I've also got a little Metroid icon that shows how many Metroids there are alive that I need to kill in the area. That's cool. So. But it would be great if it never had that and it never told you and you get to the end and it like tallies it up and it's like, nope, no payment, game <laughs> yeah. over. It's like, it's exactly, it's like the Dark Souls of, of fan remakes. <laughs> you oh. lose. Oh, so that's, shit. that's a Metroid. <laughs> and that derpy looking thing is a Metroid. 
And um, so I never played the original. He's dead. They get harder, <laughs> I'm sure. But uh, at the beginning, I think they want to just ease you into it. So um, you weren't, uh, you didn't, you didn't play original Metroid on NES? No. Uh, no. Well, I played the original Metroid a little bit. I had it as a kid, but I wasn't very good at it. And it was I mean, that game's hard as fuck, even now. Yeah, dude. My um. Well, anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Because I've. By the way, I killed that Metroid, and uh, and it lowered for some reason that lowered the lava, which lets me get to other areas. Sorry, please continue. Oh, uh, oh, right on. Gotcha. So my my so I played the shit out of Metroid. Uh, uh two two specifically two of my friends. Uh, I would independently play with them at their place, and uh, man, we just played it all the way through to the end. The, the worst was my friend, uh, uh buddy of mine at the time, Corey. Um, his mom yeah, was kind of Corey. It's always right, exactly. He was a hang brother. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> he was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I won't say who he was, but rhymes with Corey Haim. No, um, <laughs> it uh, wasn't Corey Haim. But uh, he was, uh, uh, you know, one of my gamer buddies, and and uh, he and I literally were the last level, of the, the the last section. Um, uh, in in Metroid, when you have to basically do a vertical platformer to get out of the system, uh, get out of the level as fast as possible. And it's these tiny, tiny, tiny blue like bubble-looking platforms you have to jump out of, and it's like it's intense, it's insane, and for like a child, it's even crazy town. And his mom just happened to be at that moment was like, "Corey, I need you to listen to me. I need you to do something." Because he forgot to like clean his room or something like that. And she was standing next to the TV, and he's like, "Mom, I know I'm going to. Can you just? I, I can't stop." I can't pause right now. I gotta do this. Uh, maybe he was exaggerating. But uh, <laughs> she's like, Corey, now. And he's like, Mom, please, now. He's like, Corey, now. And then I'm like, I'm sitting there just watching like eyes flitting between oh. her and the TV. And she's like, Power button. And I was oh. like, No! Like the scream, you could have, you heard the scream for like three neighborhoods. It was like the great, the great uh, mother brain escape uh, scene tragedy of whatever 1986. <laughs> it was like it was man, that shit went down in the in the record books. It was awful. Um, did did Corey freak out? Did you freak out? Well, I you know. I, I was always, I was, like, I knew it wasn't my mom and it wasn't my house, so I was just like, just stay still. And, like, just don't attract attention to yourself. And Corey got the full hate laser from his mom. She would just came down with the thunder. And he's like, wow. mom! And I was like, dude, don't yell right now. If you yell, you're both. And then he's grounded. Yep, I gotta go home. All right, bye, Corey. We'll see you later. <laughs> I gotta go home forever. It was nice being friends. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Bye. But, yeah, it was intense. Man, this looks really good. I this um, you know, like the the, the variation in the in the art style and like the, the color palette. I, I, this is fun, man. Yeah, I think it looks it looks really really good. And um, I uh, I never played as I mentioned. I, I've never played the original Metroid Two on the Game Boy, but I went back and uh, fired up a little bit of it as I was because I, I I opened this game up and I've, I've played maybe I, I should be upfront about this. Uh, we we're doing a playthrough that's like semi blind in the sense that like I played this a little bit. But um, we're gonna kind of discover this together, uh, which is different. If you've watched our Soul our Soul Reaver run, uh, Anthony is very familiar with that game and did an amazing job of sort of plowing through it quickly and not having us lag. Or if you've watched our Star Trek run, you know that <laughs> the other direction that can go, where we kind of learn it together. I can't get through this yet because I need bombs and I don't have bombs yet. Ah, uh, gotcha. Uh, but we're gonna be doing this one, sort of discovering it together. Fuck. Yeah, that's sweet. God damn it, Josh. Okay. So those those are an indicator that I'm gonna need bombs, which I believe is what we're gonna get first. Ow! But yeah, uh, this game looks great. Yeah, it really does. Uh, I, I again, Josh, I always uh, respect your uh, YOLO balls to the wall play style. Oh, that's definitely bombs. That's bombs, all right. Yeah. Oh, I love that theme. Me too. It's really nice. I'm glad I just yeah over it yeah. like an asshole. Except now you can skip. Watch this. Just cut off the music. <laughs> which kind of makes me laugh. <laughs> That's how you really celebrate it. <laughs> yeah, just like, yeah, 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 fuck you. My guess, because I feel like from a ow, from a programming standpoint, that's ow, something that you don't just... Like, it doesn't happen on its own. Like, I feel like you have to add that function to be able to skip it. And I feel like they added that in maybe for speedrunners. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, in this day and age, yeah, man. Um, yes, and yeah, you do have to add that kind of functionality at some point in the pipeline. Like, that's... Especially with, if I recall, you couldn't skip the first time, but then you could skip after you watched at least one. That's definitely programmed, so... Yeah. Yeah. Nice. You got your bombs. 
Yeah, so I got I got the bombs. The the thing that diff the, so there's a couple of differences between the, this and the original Metroid 2. For one, like I can aim up and down like that. You couldn't in the other one. And also you can you can turn into a ball in the air, which is more of a Super Metroid thing. You couldn't do that uh, in the original. I know this because I tried. When I went back because to try I it. tried. Uh, I get yes. More missiles. I can oh. Stop! And you can also climb up on ledges like that, which you you could do in Zero Mission, but you couldn't do in a, the original Metroids. Alright, so we'll just head on down here. So where, wait, do you know where you're headed to now, or is this kind of like new territory for you? Don't, don't test me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going. Really? Really, Josh? I'm kidding. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. Mm, we'll see. I mean, there's stuff to kill, and there's this door which I can get through. Pink doors require. See? How dare yeah. you? Yeah, no, you did great. You did really good. Wow, charge beam. What the heck just happened? Charge beam. Mm hmm. Hey, uh, what do you say we uh, use ye old charge beam next time? <laughs> Let's give it a couple more minutes just because people had to sit through an intro, which wasn't really. Oh, yeah, you know, fair much enough. Going fair on. enough. Uh, we'll you know, a more uh, after that. I, you know, I like sticking to the rules. Uh, you kind of yolo them. I, I respect that. I respect that. <laughs> of course. Yeah, that sounds really good. Um, what I'm trying to say is we're going to play a little more because you ruined a moment during the intro. We're going to hear some sweet narration. <laughs> and now people got nothing. <laughs> so, <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Uh, <laughs> did you? What is this thing? What's what? Uh, you were saying? That looks like some background art to me. Whoa. You hold down charge, and then go into a ball, burst into a bunch of balls. <laughs> you just like diary out a ton of them, like, that's how I Samus rolls. I think I need, that's the incontinence charge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ooh, nice. Uh, come on. Um, you know what I just read, uh, as of this morning, um, ooh, that's nice, uh, is uh, lots of rumors going around about the new Nintendo Switch, um, there's something. There's rumors that the Switch might support uh, GameCube games on the uh, Virtual Console. That would be pretty cool. Which would be rad for Metroid fans because Metroid Prime games are one of my favorites. So I'm, I guess I'm just talking about big news for me, not for anybody else. But uh, no, I make sure I'm excited. Fucking. This looks you know, really fucking hard, dude. I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this yet. There's there's an item I can get later that'll make this really easy, so we'll, we'll come back. But yeah, that would be uh, this. This is what I need, actually. And uh, I have to go around from the other side to get it. Ugh, bastards. That was fucking <laughs> bullshit. But yeah, that thing... Oh, hey. More <laughs> missiles. Oh, shit. But yeah, that's awesome. I, uh... You know, and it, it's the Switch, I, I assume, right, that the Switch, for a lot of people, the, the big advantage will be its its handheld uh, aspect of having sort of modern level graphics on, like, a tablet size. I mean, I have an NVIDIA Shield tablet, which I just sort of assume that this is, like, the next version of that, especially because I think it's being made, right, or uh, in part created with NVIDIA's technology, and those are the people that made the NVIDIA Shield tablet. Yes. It's, yeah, it's using, um, drag on, I forget the name, like, it's it's using one of NVIDIA's, uh, super solid tablet-based GPUs, uh, right. and it's gonna be nice. I'm actually really excited for the Switch. I'll probably buy that day, day, I mean, I may not wait any lines for it, um, but I, uh, definitely get it when it comes out. I, versus, like, the Wii U I skipped, um, just because trying to reduce, you know, stuff in Check my... Check this out real quick. Then we'll get back to it. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I just got the spider ball, right? So, like, how am I supposed to get out of here, right? Because I need uh, to get back up there. I can't do anything with the ball. But if I use the spider ball attachment where I go, go green like this, now I can crawl up. Oh, uh, nice! Yeah. That's actually really cool. I like that. Opens up a world of gameplay opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. All right, yeah, now that we got the spider ball, I feel like there's stuff to look forward to. There's, uh, there's hope on the horizon, so we will handle this now, next time. Instant cheese. All right, we're back. We're still playing AM2, um, or M2, Metroid. AM2R. No, AM2R. A2MR? A2MR, that's a whole different game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are not playing.
playing that. Uh, uh, well, not on this run. But, um, you know, <laughs> yeah. Life is short. We should still think about it. <laughs> Can you get that energy capsule? What the fuck? I'm trying. I'm not sure. Uh, Did you spider like ball your way up there? Yeah, yeah look how deep knowledge I already have about this game. Let's see. Oh, this guy, this guy looks a little different. Ow. Fucked up on. Yeah, he looks stupid. Push me the wall. If I charge it. No. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, let's no, grab onto the other wall. Nope. Come on. There we go. Maybe right here? No. I don't know how to get to that. I think maybe... I don't know. Alright, we're going to give this one more shot. I really want it. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, but I, I think that's how I drop out of it. Oh. Uh, so let's see. Bastard. I get hit by my own bombs. Yeah, I don't think there's a way in that I can... Whoa. Oh. Whoa. What? Is there a pattern? I just have to... All right, hang on. Let's, uh... Oh, shit! Oh, snapple-dapple! <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, look, and it puts it perfectly in position so I can get up there. Yeah, that's really nice of them. That's great. Oh, fuck yes. Energy tanker. Nice. It's going to come in real handy because um, I think my YOLO way of playing is going to really harm yeah, me dude. later on. <laughs> can you get, like, five more of those tanks? <laughs> I really hope so. Good God. Although, do you see where, so, do you see the little blue thing in the upper left corner? I believe that's my energy tank. And the number of spaces I see leads me to believe I'm not going to have a chance to get a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, be thankful with what you yeah. got. So in this area, it looks like I have um, four Metroids that I have to find and eliminate. Do your worst. Yeah, here we go all these guys. But yeah, it's really great to see all of them, um, because I played a ton of Super Metroid, and uh, I don't know, this, this game just reminds me so much of that, and it's, it's really quite good. Yeah. This is great. It's fun to see like these labor of love type things, you know, like get like a following, get support. I saw that they had a, a, a takedown request by Nintendo, and honestly, that's just, that's inevitable, right? I mean, um... And it sounds yeah. like the guy complied pretty well. and, and so Yeah, cool. I was reading his blog, and it sounded like first... I mean, he released the full version and, you know, had a bunch of downloads, uh, like a way, ways to get it. And then, hang on, new log entry. Oh, look at all that reading. Series spans a custom-built ecosystem that favors the growth of Metroids. The terrain itself is dangerous. Tendrils growing along the ground release extremely corrosive chemicals. I believe what they're trying to say is there are spikes. Opportunistic predators and scavengers can recognize this as an ideal feeding ground, taking advantage of injured or dead animals. The presence of at least one Metroid is expected when venturing into these habitats. Mm. Tendrils are determined to be of artificial origin, synthesized through technologically advanced methods. They absorb nutrients from dead matter. Mm. Cool. So they're disgusting in every way. And I'm, yeah, absolutely. And I'm pretty sure... Uh, can you hear that squish? Yeah. What, what squish? Uh, yeah. uh, that squish! <laughs> Uh, um, <laughs> so if there's one of these pods, I believe that's a Metroid that's evolved into the stuff that we're going to kill. And I think it means if there's one of those that there's a Metroid nearby, which I'm willing to bet is in here somewhere. Let's see. <laughs> somewhere. Mm -hmm. oh, like, yeah. no! oh, there he is. He doesn't see me. Oh, no, he's... Oh, God. Oh, shit, he just deflected your rocket like a boss. I know, I gotta hit his soft, delicious underbelly. Ugh, one soft. more, one more should do it. Two? Come on, there we go. Pew, pew. Blah. Here's your rockets back, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry to have inconvenienced you. Wait, what's that thing flashing on your map? Oh, like a, it's where you killed a Metroid, I guess? Uh, let's open up the map here. You mean the uh, the red, the little red yeah, t-shirt? Atari-looking Space Invader? Uh, the Space Invader, I believe, is, yeah, that's where there was one, and I killed it. I think it's a different color if there's one there that I have not uh, nice. finished off. Wouldn't it be great if they showed, like, like after you killed a Metroid, like, same as, like...
Nein. I don't think it's going to be easily found either. What is that? Oh. Yeah. Can you show me in the closet? Like, no, I can't. You never know with you. Why am I putting it in the crayon sharpener? I don't know where it is. Just do it in this box. Her forearm armor opens up and then like she just like takes a dirty like razor blade and just scratches in like the like an icon of an of a Metroid, just like another one bites the dust and then just closes back up. I mean like like this sweet pixel art game uh, just cuts to this really graphically realistic <laughs> arm cutting yeah. Yeah. to show the tally marks. Like, That'd be pretty like, fucking hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> like Mass Effect 4 Andromeda grade cutscene. Like just all the polygons on Earth are in there. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> Should happen. Killed two of four in this area. And uh, I I'm soaking it in because I know that these dudes get harder. So the fact that I can just sit there and shoot their, yeah, their underbelly. Big 
big fan of that. <laughs> big, 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 big fan, big fan. Big fan of things that are not uh, difficult to kill. Oh, oh, look, already getting harder. Can you, ah. Better. He's like, don't. Oh, he's stuck. Nope. You're, he's got to time this right. Fooled you. Yeah, exactly. Found your glitch, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> pop a cat. A pop. Nice. <laughs> All right, so we just got the one more. I think let's yeah. look at the map real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go um, up there. Mm -hmm. I think that's... Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Actually, I don't know. Well, yeah, we'll check up there, and if not, we'll leave this area and come back for the last one. I just gave you uh, reaffirming mm -hmm's because I don't even know what I was looking at, so. Oh, no? Yeah, I just, yeah I'm here for support, Josh. That's, that's pretty much what I do. Let's skip all that shit. I don't well, know where we're the going. Quick. We can, uh, we can yeah. break it down. Mm -hmm. Samus is there in the middle. That's a little beeping thing. <laughs> uh, I believe the different colors indicate different sort of, uh, I think, quadrants for Metroids, maybe? Um, or just different areas in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you can see in the bottom right corner there, you can see how many Metroids are left in this area and how many are left overall. So I have 51 Metroids still to kill. So don't feel like fuck it up. I'm going to try not to, but you know. You mean when we get to the end and we're like, all right, payment due, yeah. and they're like, nope, not at all. You injured the 51st, so you lose. <laughs> you didn't really kill him. <laughs> He's just maimed. Did you play uh, Super Metroid on the Super Nintendo? Nope, never did. Although I totally should. It's still really good. I never owned a Super NES until now. Yeah. Oh yeah. So do you, you so you call it the Super NES, not Super Nintendo? Actually, I call it the SNES. Yeah, I just yeah, I, I usually Up there. and then I mangle whatever word comes out of my mouth at the moment. But yeah, I usually refer to <laughs> SNES. Yeah. Yeah, I never had a Super Nintendo or a SNES. Yeah. No, I don't think there's a right or wrong with that. It's I find that interesting though, because um, you know, a lot of people say either or. Or perhaps both. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I it's weird. I yeah. And with the caffeine intake I've got these days, I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Combined with all the cocaine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, y'all want some more Molly? <laughs> um, Anthony, it's this. You're at dinner. It's a funeral. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> you're at dinner. It's a funeral. <laughs> well, you know, like a like a repast. Yeah. Uh, they have it. They have it wakes. And also, welcome to the most riveting part of the game, where we can <laughs> check out the landscape at breakneck speeds. I thought there might be something up here. Turns out I might be wrong. Are you holding a button right now to, like, while moving? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm holding one direction. Right, so, but I mean, like, like is there, is there a button to, like, act, yeah, I can to go. activate the, the, the spider crawl effect? Or, like, now that you're... Yeah, so, yeah, there's a button to activate the ball, and then there's a button to activate spider, and then there's a button to move around. Oh, cool. So, so you're, you're holding two there. buttons on top of moving the deep, the, the directional pad right now? No, it's a toggle. Oh, uh, okay, that's what I meant. Yeah, 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 okay, good. Because otherwise, it's like, fuck, do not move your other, like, your thumb that's laying across two buttons. Yeah, no, that's to that. Plus, like, I, I remapped the controls a little bit. I'm playing with a controller. Controller, uh, and I, I cannot fathom trying to play a game like this with a keyboard. <laughs> when you say like I remap the controls a little bit, I just picture you with like, uh, like a like a like the most professional grade thrust master setup possible. <laughs> like you're like actually I'm operating the ball with the pedals right now, and the, th the, th the thumb selector on the on the whatever missile rack. Like Jesus Christ, Josh. Just yeah, I take this shit seriously. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want to give this game the respect it deserves. Like all right. <laughs> All right, man. Go for it. So, it's funny you say that because uh, we found the last one. Thank God. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm actually playing with a PlayStation 1 controller because I like nice. I, I like the uh, the L and R buttons a lot more on this than, like, a, than any modern controller that has, like, analog triggers. I feel like for a game like this, I just, I don't want analog triggers. I just want to have buttons. So... But the process to getting something like that working is, is a little little arduous. Also, the screen shook again, which means that somewhere else, somewhere, uh, something opened up. I believe it's supposed to tell you that lava uh, receded deeper, so you can go to areas that were previously blocked by lava. Uh, right on. Uh, but yeah, using a PlayStation 1 controller, I have it. Whoa, wait, what's this? Oh, shit! Cool. Oh, fuck oh, yes. Yeah, you definitely need that. Yeah. Man, I'm really glad. I, I like how it showed me, like, I had to blow this up, and it opened up this for me so I could discover it. Really like that. It's a great way to teach you. God, I'm gonna need those. There you are. But, uh, yeah, I have, I have my PlayStation 1 controller hooked into a USB adapter that's plugged in, and then it's going into a, uh, a program that makes a game think that you're 
controller is an Xbox 360 controller, because most games support that. Very exciting stuff, Anthony. I feel like you should consider, you know, expanding your mind when it comes to your controller selection, because <laughs> your life might be easier. <laughs> no, it's the best. No, I hear you, and don't get me wrong, like, I love me some PS1 controllers, but, uh, yeah, I, at that point, I'm like, you know what, 360 works like a boss. Oh, my God, well, and, Josh. And admittedly, like, I would do that except the, I know, I'm sorry, everybody, but the D-pad on a 360 controller is not all that great. And I have an Xbox One controller that I can use, and you just plug it in and it works. But like the, that, here I have it right here. Just just take a listen to it. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, really that's nice. Noisy. So I, I figured I would just go with the, uh, you know, the old love of my life, the original PS One controller I used back in 1998 or whatever. You know what you need is the uh, 360 Pro uh, stick where it's, it's got the individual D-pad buttons again. Oh, That's yeah. Nice. And all those, like, is that the one that has the, uh, no, I guess they did that for the Xbox One Pro where there's, like, the back paddles that you can reprogram every button to, like, back little paddle button things. And Have you seen these? I think. I, I just know that they have, like, you could unscrew the D-pad thing and uh, God and replace it with uh, in a, a D-pad one that's at individual D-pad buttons versus it all being one connected piece. Right. Yeah, the new one allows... Oh, my God. What the hell is this? I know. Whoop. It's got oh, a couple shit. of settings. Come on. Oh, it's kind of sweet. It reminds me of, like, a Stargate. Oh, shit, oh, shit Josh. You better kill this fool. It's a bunch of different ones. Getting really confused here. That's a laser. I know that much. And that laser again. Good. I like that because I can avoid that one very easily. Yeah, just only give me the laser. Yes. But yeah, the Xbox One Pro... That one I gotta stay in there. Doesn't matter, he's dead. Whew! Woo! That was close. Oh, oh, wow. Shit! That was quite the reward Dude. that's not gonna help me that much. He was like a boss pinata. That was great. Alright, I think I can get up there, but uh, how about we try that next time? Sounds good. Love you. Alright, so. Break the end of two episodes of that. And hit the subscribe button to stay notified for future videos. And hit the like button if you liked, enjoyed this. If you enjoyed me reacting to other YouTubers.